Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to how to create a floor plan from a, a model. Okay, so this is a, a, a little um, residential project I did, and uh, you you should be able to find a, a, a link to that download this uh, this project. Um, okay, so let's do it. So first um, I'm not going to so these are some uh, floor plan already there so I'm not going you going to use this use this uh, to you know duplicate so what I'm going to do is uh, let's pretend these proof of floor plans um, don't exist okay so now I'll go to view and on the plan view I'm going to create a floor plan so this will uh, create a a new floor plan without anything uh, without any settings okay so so and also you will see because we already created this uh, these plans associated with the I think it should be a ground level so it's not here so that level is not here so we need to uncheck this one and then you will see this okay so now let's create a floor plan uh, okay so this is it so this is a floor plan so you will say um it's uh, uh it's not as good as the this one so uh, which one this one yeah so now we're going to um do some settings so first um so usually a floor plan if you go to view range so these are the default setting of floor plan so you will see it's cutting at 1200 high and looking down and then your eyes are at this level okay so um and also that these are the depths so i um if you not uh, if you not familiar with uh, view range so just do a search i've done some uh, videos about view range so these two setting controls um if imagine that's some um element below that ground floor level so these two setting it will control uh, whether or not you you will see them or you can see them um in in dashed dashed lines okay so okay so i'll just leave it uh here so now let's do some setting so okay so basically so um you can first this is the setting you can change so usually for schematic design so we don't we don't need uh, details for example all the the construction detail of the walls we can just use course but if you want to use uh see the wall so see uh, these are just generic um, not generic just concept concept wall but if you use um actual wall so let me just do a create a wall okay so if i choose this a uh, brick veneer so you, you will start to see all the different materials so it looks like uh, i set this a pattern as solid black so it's i think it's probably because i changed the pattern of the brick material so let's have a look of this brick material so usually usually by default this will should be something like this okay so let me just click ok and And click OK, click OK. So now, so this is the, the median. So and also it looks like I changed some the weight. So maybe let's have a look. Manage object style wall. Yeah, looks like I changed this wall setting. So um, maybe I'll change this one because I think uh, change the projection line weight from one to two will create some issue. So maybe change this back <laughs> okay so and the floor as well okay all good so now let me just delete this wall and then 
let's change this back to course because we don't want to see all the you know the the pattern of the material and also to change on the course on the course so the the pattern the, the pattern of the wall is controlled in here so you will see if you select this wall and go to click on edit type you will see this this is course scale fill pattern okay so currently it's black so any uh or any you know this type of wall in on the course will always show black okay so you can just change this and on the course okay so i think that's good and so this is a room separate sep separator um if probably we don't need so we can just vh okay so v h so height category so uh it's the same if you go vv it's on the line okay so line here and this one see and if you check this one apply you will see them if you uncheck go to line room separation line room separation yep click ok it's gone okay so um and usually uh i like to have so for furniture oh, sorry furniture category i like to make them uh, lighter so the easiest way you can do this so right click overwrite by category okay then you can just half tone them and okay and now you will see all the furniture so the furniture become half toned you can also do vv and under just type f and it will go to furniture so see it's checked and also maybe the tree all the plants can be um, lighter so vv go to plants see here so you can so planting you can check this one or you can just right click overwrite category and half tone and okay yeah that's better okay so uh, let's have a look of this what's this one so this is a floor okay i just uh, i placed a floor and you might think you might um want uh be confused or oh, why this floor the green because currently we are in on the hidden line usually on the hidden line it will be all black and white why it's green it's because i i used i used a material so if you look at this material so this is a material i used this solid feel so this solid feel color it will show in hidden line okay so if i change this one to non pattern so you will see it become white and if I uh, if I go let me just go back to material so if I use a surface pattern so solid surface pattern and it becomes green although we are uh, on the hidden line so let's have a look in 3d view and you will still see this uh, looks like there's something overlapping there but uh maybe uh hang on let me just uh, show hidden yeah so there's a so this is a floor so uh it's just hidden what's this one topography uh that's fine let me just eh hide it so you will see under hidden line so this floor still uh uh is still green color this, this is because i am using the the solid pattern okay so surface pattern um if i change the shade if you if i change the shade it's using the it oh sorry wrong one material so it's using i think it's using this color but because of the light setting so let me just go to here not this one because i think the light say because of the light setting it becomes white so if i turn down 
this light setting, so see, it becomes green. Okay, so sometimes you, you can just, so if it's too dark, you can just turn this up and then all everything becomes white. Okay. Okay, so uh, what's this one? Gray color, let's have a look of this, the material paving. So, okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. So shade, yeah, I think it's showing, it's showing this color. Okay, so all good. Let me, let me change this to hidden on. Yeah. Okay, go back to that floor plan. So I think uh, it's this one. Okay, so now. Um, okay, what's next? So this is, so I think this is quite useful to use a, f a floor with a solid pad a color. So uh, you, you, you can uh, in instantly uh, tell this is some garden area, green area, right? And also you can, um, you can also use rooms, okay? So to give colors. So let, let me show you. So for, for example, if I want to color my interior space with a little um, color, so I can uh, tell the difference between in, inside and outside. So we can do this. So first, we you need to. Ah, uh, I already have these rooms. So you, you need to place some rooms in your in your uh, in your model. So just type R M room, or you can go to architecture room. Okay. So you can once you have room. So it's there already already there so it's, it's vi invisible but you can try to pick them i think or maybe i see if you tab move your cursor in, in the room tab you will be able to find them or you can do this so if you can type a vv go under room so type r so see this room so you can just check these two box so after 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 this you will be able to see all these rooms. So this this blue color, uh, it won't be print. Uh, you, if you print, it won't show on your drawing. Okay, so it's only visible in this view. And and also, and this light blue means it's correct. It's a one room. If you place multiple room in one area, so let me show you. If you place another room here so you will see a redundant room click ok the blue become a uh, darker if i place another one so you can you can tell from the, the shade of blue so how many room you have in this area let me just delete delete this okay so delete everything or oh, sorry delete the the room so now we can do the color color scheme okay so so what you need to do is so in your property go to um see color scheme click on this color scheme so under here change this to room now you have the option to create uh, colors for different um using different parameter of the room um for example i'm going to use um i'll go uh, i'm going to use department okay so department and then for uh, i already have these three maybe let me just um uh because i previously used these maybe i'll just do one so you can you uh, uh, you know how to do it if you start from scratch okay so Let's pretend there's nothing here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to delete delete this color scheme. Okay, so now I'll create a new. But you looks like we can't create just by click on something. We need to duplicate some from one of this. Okay, so let's duplicate from this one, from this number. Okay, so duplicate, and let's type. I'll use department. 
Okay, so click OK. So now let's click on department and then here, here, so this one, change this one to department here. And uh, not previous, uh, click OK. Okay, so now you will see we have, oh, it looks like, um, yeah, automatic, it automatically create these three because all these three, uh, I already type these parameters, this text in the parameter of these rooms. Maybe let me try something else. Okay, so not this one. Uh, I'll try another one. So start from number again, duplicate, um, new. I'll just name it new, and I'm going to use a different parameter. So this time I'm going to use maybe occupancy. Okay, so click OK. Yeah, nothing. Good. So now what we can do is we you can add color. So you can add one, add a name, a value, a color, a pattern here. But you can also do this. So click OK, go back, and you can select a room. So tab, select room. So usually what I like to do is I'll select one room, I C. So if you type I C, isolate by category. So now the whole everything on this screen uh, are rooms. You can just select all the rooms. Now you can go here under the properties. So see all these parameters. And then you can find that param oh, here, occupancy. So now we can type in something. So for example, I'll just type in uh, just a text. I guess of something, some text. Uh, I don't know, I'll just call it internal, okay, so internal space. So, okay, so now you will see Revit give them a, a color already, okay? So now we can go back to this, um, go back to the color scheme here, and then, so you will see this is the color. So if I wanted to change the color, so a very light color, so I'll just type in some RGB number. Okay, so apply, okay, uh, hang on, all right, okay, yeah, all good. Okay, so then type HR, now you will see all the int, all these, and the good thing about color scheme is, so you will see the color only go to background, so if you model something in here, a furniture or casework. So they uh, they will, uh, the color won't uh, cover all these uh, families. Okay, same here. But you can, if you want to color everything, you can, you can just go to color scheme. So, oh, no, go, no, sorry, not color scheme, go to your property. And I think it's just uh, where the color scheme is color scheme here so you will see color scheme location so if you want to change the color of that those case work i guess those furniture as well change this to foreground so this will color everything in your room okay background so okay so now and of course if you wanted to so it looks like this, okay, I modeled this using geometry, oh, sorry, using generic model. So I think this is water. I just model, model it uh, as a generic model so I can render it. So it's, it's uh, yeah, maybe I'll just hide it. So now we can see the color. Okay, so this room is not right because probably because uh, it's not enclosed here. So let's just have a look of the room separation. So VV, so under line here, and room, let's turn on the room separation. So we can see this one here. So maybe I'll just move this, okay, so move this to here. Yeah, that's it. And also this area, so because it's uh, outdoor so we can just select this room and give it instead of 
I have internal, so I'll just type in external. Okay, so and then it will create another color for us. And then we can just edit this color. Um then the so maybe uh green as well. And then you will see this oh it will match that color. But anyway, so yeah, this is another way to you know slightly color your um floor plan. Okay, so okay, what else? And so yeah, basically all the categories, so these categories, so this so when you model just be very careful. So if it's a casework, if it's joinery, just use casework category if it's plumbing if you model in place make sure so if you do some model in place for example if i want so for example this one uh i'm just model some uh um joinery so all this uh, rope so make sure you use the correct category so okay so if you model in place so this is a very important step okay so, so don't just choose random one category so always pick a correct one so for, for example if you want if you model in place a little um, a tv here for example just use um what what what's the category of tv uh, maybe electrical equipment i'm not sure <laughs> anyway so just choose a correct category okay so for example this one plumbing and then so next time so you can just do vv and turn go to p plumbing so you know all your plumbing will be half tone right um okay so let me just vh this and also another thing is very important so sometimes you have some so for example this one this area so you will see it's it's leveled it's go uh, goes up by i think um so one two three four five six uh let's say one point i can't remember 1.5 meter maybe so you you need to so currently it's not showing anything here okay so you need to do change the view range of this area so in this area it's cutting at 1.2 meter so we can see everything here but in here we're cutting below the floor level so we need to go to view plan view and we need to use plan region okay so now we can just draw uh, something here and go to so you will see this view range and change this to cut a little bit higher so that level plus 1.2 meter so if that's 1.5 it will be 2.7 and then also lift the top so imagine you're standing 2.3 plus 1.5 it will be uh, to 3.8 meter something like that okay so apply okay and finish so now you will see this okay and yeah i think um what else um if you want to adjust yeah just need to be careful so you probably when you draw when you draw uh, this plan region it's very important you just need to you need to know where you need so for example this one so i think i want to show the window here so because this window looks like the seal height of this windows is it's higher than 1.2 so it's not showing here so if you drag this down here so you will see everything All right and okay so Another very important uh, setting. Um, usually, 
when you use Revit, so we don't really think about this too much because Revit take care of all the line thickness. When you cut a wall, it become thick. When you when you see a projection line of a wall, so for example, this one. So this is a wall, but we are not cutting it. So this is a very thin line compared to uh, these are solid. So maybe let me just make it median so we can see the line. So see, we're cutting this wall, so it's it's very thick. And this wall, we are not cutting it. We're we, we're looking at the top of the wall, so that's um, why it's thin. So this is because of the setting. Okay, so it's a setting under manage and object style. So you will see if I go to board, so every time when uh, it's not cutting, so we we'll see a line weight one line here. Okay, so and when it's cutting the wall, it becomes four. Okay, so yeah, if in case you want to um, adjust the line weight of of any model, any category, so first you need to work out what that uh, the category of the element is. So for example, if I, I think, oh, this is too thick. I don't want, I don't like this. So, so you first you need to have a look of this. Uh, that's a casework. And it's thick because we are cutting it. It's, uh, it's higher, it's higher than, it's taller, sorry, it's taller than 1.2 meters. So we just need to go to manage object style and then you can go to casework. So we'll see three. So these are three, long weight three. Okay, so if you want to make it slightly thinner, so you can just type in two. Okay, so that's, it becomes two. And, and also remember, so object style, this is a global setting. If you change this one, it will change all the long weight of any view, floor plan, ceiling plan, uh, elevation sections. Okay, so everything will be changed to, will use these line weights, okay? So if you only want to change the line weight in this view, you can just do VV or VG. So this is, uh, or you can go to here, so the same thing, and then just change overwrite so overwrite the line weight. So for example, you can go to casework, okay, casework. So overwrite and change the weight. So for example, seven. Oh, should we cut line seven? Okay, so it becomes seven, right? And also you can use a pattern. So this is a cut pattern. Oh, I want want it to be a to show show some you know cross okay so for example this uh, in case you need a plan to show all the casework on your plan so you can do this okay so vv do this or you of course you can right click by category okay okay so um I think that's pretty much it. Oh, you can, yeah. Sometimes I like to have a little bit shadow. So you, um, because currently this one is quite flat. Okay, so you, unless you can, uh, oh, you see these stairs and maybe just put some arrow, arrows in. So now you can tell, oh, this looks like oh, it's going up going up but you can also do add a little bit shadow or not this too much that's too much so i like to do this so just go to lighting so just um so it looks like i already have one so i like to just have uh you can create one so let's pretend there's no okay so nothing here so we only have one here so you can just duplicate, create a new one, and then just 
adjust the angle. So for example, I'll just type something like this. Apply. So now you will see the shadows just a little bit, but this little shadow maybe make it slightly lighter. So only this a little bit light a shadow can tell you the depth of this. So you will see uh, tells you there's a little height here, little height, and you can tell that's stairs, right? You can tell okay that's uh that's more than here, so a little bit here. You can tell the shape of you know the, the stairs. That's a wall. Right? Yeah, but of course, if turned off, so if you want to have a very simple and nice clean floor plan, just turn up, turn turn off. And what else? Um, yeah, that's 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 it. Um, so very basic, um, but I think let me try this. Uh, no. Yeah, so you can play with all the sketch line, but I think that's it. Okay, so very basic, and I hope it helps. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.